this is the first frame example and uh, let's just jump right in Jim made a custom pull up bar in his room the profile uh, that you see below is the frame design with half of Jim's weight applied find the reactions at A, B, and C okay well do what we always do we just uh, start off with a, a nice little rigid analysis and then we work our way back okay um, if we do that let's just do a quick little picture you have something along the lines of this you're gonna have A, B, C A, B, C doesn't really matter at this point about C but um, it's always good to have it in there just just so that we know where things are so um, I'm just going to keep all the dimensions the same and we're going to work it. You're going to have uh, an AX component and an AY as well as a BX and a BY. Very good. So let's do, um, I say we do moment about A. That will take a few things out. So um, if we do the moment about A, what we'll find is that uh, BX times 5 minus 90 pounds times 20 equals 0. That's all that's resulting from that. You can solve for BX at that point 360 60 pounds. Good. Okay, well, what if we do uh, sigma, sigma f of x? Well, you can find that uh, essentially ax plus bx has to equal zero, so um, ax must equal negative 360 pounds. Okay, that's easy enough. And then we know that, um, what do we get from the sigma f of y? Well, we don't really get a whole lot. I mean, we get AY plus BY minus 90 equals 0. We know that. This is just a relationship that we will be able to use later on if uh, we run out of rope, essentially. Okay, so let's segregate this all off. That was the rigid analysis. Let's do a quick little talk about the BC member real quick. Um, the BC member is a two-force member. And just so you remember, um, two-force members must be equal and opposite. So in our case, when we have a B force equaling, let's see, equaling this way, at 360 and then this way at 360 along with a BY which remember BY is going to be opposite of that direction right so it'll be down in this member but up in this one see why okay so just realize that we know that by is equal to negative equal to negative cy. We know that, and we know that cx is equal to um, opposite of it, it's equal to 360 as well, but in the direction that's indicated in this graph as well. So we know this. Um, we just kind of carry this along with us. A, a lot of people don't even consider um, the reactionary forces at B because we know that C is a two-force member. You can actually work things from there as well. But we did it that way. Um, yeah, let's continue on. Then we'll touch on the ACB member. Which will look something along the lines of this and you'll have your CY which is going to be 
pulling downward, you're going to have your AY, you're going to have 360 going this way to the left, and we also have 90 pounds over here. And remember, this is our CY. Okay, so we know that we can always check that sigma f of x is equal to zero, and we know that's true because it's 360 pounds right there, so we know that 360 minus 360 is equal to zero, so we're good. How are the, uh, what if we did a moment about A real quick? If we did a moment about A, just for this member, the only things I would take into consideration would be, first off, you'd have negative 10 times CY minus 20 times 90. Well, CY will then equal negative 180 pounds. Which means basically it's going to be pushing upward at 180 pounds. Which makes sense because it's holding this, this member upward. So we have CY which equals 180 now we can go back to our sigma of Fy, so this should also equal zero. And you can do Ay, and what we would have done was minus Cy minus 90. But since we know that Cy is equal to negative 180, we can see that a y minus or plus one eighty minus ninety will equal zero. A y will equal ninety pounds. Kind of nifty that way, but it'll be ninety pounds negative, right? In the terms that we see here. Yeah, that's correct. So it'd be negative ninety pounds. Great, so now we know what AY is equal, we know what CY is equal, and we knew what AX and CX and all these are. Let, let's just figure out what the final values are real quick. Um, basically, through Pythagorean Theorem, you're going to have 360 squared plus 90 squared, which will equal... 371 pounds. You're going to have B is equal to 360 squared plus 180 squared is equal to 402.5 pounds. And C will equal square root of 180 squared plus 360 squared is equal to, once again, 402.5 pounds. And it shouldn't be a surprise to us that both the force reactions at B and C are the same, because it's a two-force member. So anyway, I, I know that was probably a bit quick, but you just got to um, keep practicing these problems and leave a comment if you want some more.